Hey guys, welcome back to AndroBeast. So, the best news for all emulation lovers, the beta version of the AX360E emulator is finally out for us to test. Let me tell you, AX360E is the one and only legit Xbox 360 emulator currently under development for Android. And guess what? It's being developed by Inu, the same team behind the APS3E or PS3 emulator for Android. What makes it even more exciting is that a X360E is day one compatible with Mali GPUs. Yes, you heard that right. Just like they did with RPCS3, they've made sure Mali users are not left behind this time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the AX360E emulator on your Android device. I'll also be testing some popular Xbox 360 titles on my Mali powered phone to see how they perform. And of course, we can't miss it. I'll be testing the legendary GTA 5 Xbox 360 version on this emulator to see what actually happens. So guys, stay tuned, hit that like button, and let's begin. All right guys, so let's begin with the setup. Basically, the setup process is pretty simple. Just install the AX360E emulator on your Android device. Once installed, open it. And you'll notice it has that classic Xbox style logo. When you open it for the first time, the home screen will be empty. Okay, next, just tap on the three dots at the top right corner. A small options menu will appear. From here, select Set Game Directory. Now, choose the folder where your Xbox 360 titles are stored, and that's it. All your games will now show up right on the home screen. If you again tap the three dot menu, you'll see a lot more options. Under Key Mapper, you can map your controller buttons and directly play Xbox 360 titles with your controller. Also, if you want to customize the on-screen controls, just go to Virtual Pad, Edit Layout. From here, you can easily adjust the size, position, and layout of your on-screen buttons. Now, if you go to Settings, you'll notice that most options are currently disabled. You can't tweak graphics or performance settings yet, but in upcoming updates, all those settings will be unlocked for customization, so that's all about the available options for now. Let's move on to the game test and see if it can actually run some Xbox 360 titles or not. Before that, let me quickly show you my device specs. I'm using a Dimensity 1200 powered phone with a Mali G77 MC9 GPU. All right, let's start with our first game, Naruto Rise of a Ninja. As you can see, the game has successfully started, which means the emulator is working. It's a bit slow, kind of in slow motion, but remember, this is just the beta version. Still, the fact that it's loading and showing graphics is a huge deal already.
Next, I tried GTA San Andreas, Xbox 360 version. But unfortunately, it crashed instantly with a black screen. Now, let's test Dragon Ball, Raging Blast. It actually loads into the main menu, but with a lot of graphical glitches and black textures. So, yeah, we can't really play it yet. But again, this is early beta stuff, so no complaints. And finally, the legendary GTA 5. This is crazy. The game even starts up, but unfortunately it crashes instantly. So guys, just wait for future updates. The progress so far is super promising, and I'm sure this emulator will soon become much more optimized and playable. That's it for today's quick video. Thanks for watching.